Hi, and welcome back to another episode of From the Ground Up. I'm Elizabeth Burr, and we're going to be talking about the Self-Reliance Program today. I am actually not at home. I am out on vacation with my husband, and we're taking some downtime this morning, and I'm getting back to you. And if you'll excuse me, I will be looking to the side. I hope that's not too um, distracting for you. I'm going to try not to rock today. That was very distracting for me last week. But my notes are over here to the side. So um, about six months or so ago, I was in the middle of taking the churches, starting and growing my business class. And it was an interesting thing. It was something I had alluded to last week. Um, because instead of getting me moving forward on my business, it was actually um, more of a sifting process where I decided that the Lord didn't want me to do what I thought I wanted to do. So that was probably, for me, the best part of taking the self-reliance course through the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is that there is that spiritual emphasis on the business. And so essentially I learned after I got over some hesitation because it started off almost like, um, hey, God wants you to be rich. And that's not exactly what we teach in self-reliance. Um, what was really going on is the Lord wants to bless us so we can bless others. And as I learned that and became comfortable with that, I learned that I really need to give the Lord the controlling vote in my business. And over the course of time, I learned that it may mean that I don't have a business at all because selling religion is not something I'm actually into. Um, however, there will eventually be a few monetary things on the site. So, you know, I may have a slight side income. But what I learned is how generous the Lord is when we follow him. I was angry for a while because I felt like a um, less than stellar administrator had kind of forced me out of my teaching career. And over this process of helping me understand what my business is supposed to be, I learned that the Lord released me from my teaching career he gave me a year before my mom moved out of state so that I could spend um, a, a day a week with her. He has let me be available when friends need a little bit of help here and there. He's given me more time to devote to my home and my family and to work on building this blog. Um, so that's kind of the spiritual side of what I learned. And I, to me, that was the most powerful on the business side, we the 12-week the program is awesome. It is actually geared toward people who are going to produce a physical product and um, then market it to the public. It doesn't really fit the online digital blogging type world. But even then, it wasn't that hard to take what I was learning and tweak it so that it did apply to what I was working on. So I highly recommend the course. The best part is, at least for 12 weeks and possibly after, if, if you agree to continue meeting and continue checking up on each other, you get this built-in accountability group. We didn't always meet our weekly goals, but we didn't judge each other. We encouraged each other. Um, some folks found that they needed to tweak their business. Some folks found that it really wasn't even the season to be getting into a personal business. Um, I have some lasting friendships from the folks that I went through the class through. It was a really awesome opportunity. My takeaways for the week. Number one, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints puts together some awesome programs. Um, the self-reliance program is one of them. I intend to take the other three classes that are available. There will be links on my blog and in at the bottom in the notes of my YouTube channel of this episode. Um, yes, and there goes my husband in the background. 
Um, so I, I will be going into some of those in the future, but we'll get the self-reliance now. If you're not a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, you really can't get into a self-reliance group. If you have a Latter-day Saint friend or a Mormon friend, we're sometimes called, you can talk to them about it. Do be prepared that it's going to be heavily leaning toward the doctrine we have received in, in revelation from the Lord. Um, but if not, if, you, if that's not interesting to you, I still highly recommend go find an interest group or a niche group or a support or accountability group that matches up with what you're trying to do. Build friends, get that support. And the last and most important thing is always, always, always include the Lord in your plans. I love what um, President Ezra Taft Benson once said. He said, we should ask the Lord's blessings on all our doings and should never do anything upon which we cannot ask his blessings. I'll see you guys next week.